I'm conducting the CNN Inside Africa experiment. Already via Twitter, I've met up with people here in Nairobi, Kenya, to talk about why this city is so connected. Their advice has brought me to a place called iHub. Via Twitter, I found out how to get here, and now I'm going to see what it's all about. The iHub, or Innovation Hub, is an open space for Kenya's web and mobile phone programmers and young entrepreneurs. Membership is open to just about anyone in the tech field, and it's free. To get more insight into this techies retreat, I'm meeting with its manager, Tosh Juma. I was told to go to the fourth floor. Um, I see a big open door this way. Looks kind of like a tech-savvy room. And there it is, says right there, I hope. Hey, how are you? Hey. I'm uh, looking for a man whose Twitter handle is Itosh. Can are you direct you? me to him? Are you Errol CNN? Absolutely. Then that's me. How are you? I'm very good, how are you? So, Come on. as I was telling you online, yes. many people in Nairobi today told me iHub is a place of innovation and where there are a lot of tech-savvy thinkers. And the most brilliant coffee in Nairobi. And brilliant coffee. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at that now. This certainly looks like a, a place to relax and think. I see there's some foosball over there. Yes. What is iHub? iHub is um, the coolest place to be in Nairobi. If you're a techie, it's the coolest place to be in East Africa. What we do here is we provide a space for young techies to bring their ideas to life. Simple. One is you come with the hope of meeting others, like-minded individuals. Come, collaborate, and do your own stuff. So a lot of the guys you see here today are either freelancers or guys who are half employed and half doing their own thing, but they all have a tech background. It's either you're a software developer, a web designer, or a tech enthusiast. And so how did this place come to exist then? The whole concept of the app started a couple of years ago. Um, a lot of guys used to go to restaurants that had Wi-Fi. And from that, there was no follow-up no immediate follow-up to whatever people are trying to do. So if you were in a restaurant met someone and tried to do something together, it became a problem following up because everyone went back to their bedrooms and stuff. Ah, so see. what happened is um, Ushahidi, so Ushahidi is an application, a platform. They were looking for an office about three years ago. So what they wanted to do is create a place they could call home, but also say a big thank you to the developer community. So it was a good enough time when developers were trying to get a space that they could do this, Ushahidi opted to actually found a space for them. That was the genesis of the IHUB. Considering the IHUB brings together the tech community, I want to see firsthand what kind of new ideas are being cultivated right now. Susan, tell me what your application does. I'm working on a project called MFARM. M Farm. Yes. Okay, and what does that do? It assists farmers, first of all, to get market price information. Really? And it also assists them to link up with buyers from local vicinity and also the international market. And also it links up farmers to buyers so that they can be able to have uh, offers on farm inputs. 80% of the Kenyan economy is supported by agriculture. Mm. So farmers have been having issues in that they haven't been having access to market information. They haven't been having access to the market itself so that they can sell their products. So then how do you step in and help them with your application? So MFARM is SMS-based and web-based. So SMS-based in that farmers can text to get information before they sell their price. Let's say I'm a farmer, I'm selling tomatoes, yes. and all I know is what the middleman tells me. There's an oversupply, so yes. they say you can get maybe $5 per yeah. basket or whatever they sell tomatoes in. Yes. I can then text your app, Yes. and I can find out that no, there's no oversupply. I can yes. get $20 per basket. Exactly. You're from Kenya, you are Kenyan, but why did you decide to help farmers specifically? So, I'm from a background of farmers, my parents are both oh, okay. farmers, and my, also other of my partners, we are three ladies who came up with the application. Wow. Yes, all having background in tech, all having a background of farming. Well, I want to see more of what's happening inside iHub, so can you show me some of what your friends are up to? Yes, I'll introduce you to Nivi. Okay, let's go. Yes. This is Nibi. Nibi, how are you? Nice to, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Guys. <laughs> okay. So I've been uh, forced upon you. I apologize. Tell me what you're working on. I'm working on an educational app for Kenyan primary school students. 
and it's basically a way of getting their textbooks in here, but then vamping it up with content, with animations, and games, and songs, and videos, and the whole point is to make the learning process fun and engaging and interactive for kids. You want to see it? Yeah. So when a student logs in... So this is the app available on a tablet? On an Android tablet, and it's a cheap little tablet, low cost but high tech. And your, your project is called? Ilimu. Ilimu. And what does that mean? Elimu in Swahili means education and learning. Once you log in, you'll see the six subjects that you have here on your left. On over here, you'll see quizzes, there's games, what's new, what's happening in your country, what's happening around you, stories, fictional stories written by Kenyan students, um, Kenyan authors, exam tips on how to perform well in multiple choice exams, and a teaching aid, which is professional development for teachers. You were saying that all of the information in here is pulled from the official Kenyan curriculum. That's correct. It's all approved by the Kenyan Institute of Education. And, but it's got more. It's got more than what a textbook has, and we can do more with it. It brings all of this content to life, really. Exactly. And it animates like a bit like um, complex concepts that, you know, like how a heart beats or how a seed germinates. And, you know, it's one thing to read about it, but it's another thing to see it in motion. So when does this officially become available? Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, wow. So we're right here at the leading edge of what iHub is creating. Absolutely. And you're at the leading edge of where Kenya is going to take um, e-learning and educational content. From the looks of things, iHub isn't just connected to the web. It's also connected to the future of Kenyan innovation. In fact, some members here use it as a launch pad to eventually get employment at places like Google. Speaking of, next on our journey, we'll visit one of the world's most recognizable tech companies to see how they're helping Nairobi stay connected globally.